Hello everyone and welcome to Trip's Art Class. This is Trip, and today we're going to do a book review on Garbage Pell Kids with introduction by Art Spiegelman, who is the uh, artist and writer of the amazing graphic novel Mouse, which if you haven't read a graphic novel, I would totally suggest to read that one with an afterword by John Pound. So as you can see here, it's the Topps baseball cards. It kind of feels like the old school 1980s and early 1990s top baseball card uh, Topps baseball card um, package. It has that same feel if anyone remembers that. So that's the book cover. It's taped shut here. And if you're not familiar with the uh, Garbage Pell Kids, uh, you, you probably didn't grow up in the 80s because they were all over in the 80s. I mean, I, I loved the Garbage Pell Kids. They were kind of the rebellious uh, cards that you know your parents wouldn't want you to have but you would still have them so I'm just gonna kind of go through this book to kind of do a book review so you can check it out before you buy it in case you are interested in buying it so as you can see what's so cool about it is it shows the cards here the old school actual card so instead of having to collect all the cards over again you can buy this book and then see all of the artwork and what's neat about it is it's kind of cartoony kind of created for kids but it is definitely lowbrow in nature where in a way it, a lot of people would say is not appropriate for younger kids the Garbage Pell Kids were kind of like a response to the Cabbage Patch Kids. They kind of look cute and neat like that, but they are wildly distorted and often grotesque. So this book just goes on and on and on, and you can see all of these cards. I mean, it's, it's definitely a book to have if you grew up in the 80s and you're into lowbrow art and cartoony paintings. I believe most of these were paintings that were then put down into the format of a card that would sell. Originally, I was wanting to buy a collection of Garbage Pell Kids cards just to kind of nostalgically look back at the artwork but then I found this book and this this is so much better because you have them all in the same place I mean it provides a great book for references too if you want to get inspired to draw some really weird characters so as we go through you can see it's nothing super nothing super Unique is just the cards, one per page. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Tons of them, so we'll kind of skip through. This goes on and on and on. Some of these are bring me back to when I was a kid. I remember seeing some of these. I probably had maybe uh, 50 of these cards. Some of them are a little bit more popular than others. Okay, as we get to the end here, we're on page, um, let's see, 216. Oh, I remember this one right here. Oh, I remember this one too, <laughs> Hot Rod. This one reminds me of something that um, Robert Williams might paint. And then after two, page uh, 220, 221, you have the afterword by John Pounds. Not very long. The index. And this is cool. This is probably one of the most nostalgic cards right here, this image right here. There's even a Funko Pop version of it. And carry on to the tradition of uh, Topps uh, baseball cards. We have like bonus cards here and you would almost expect to see gum for the old traditional gum, but instead of giving you that broken gum that would be in a pack of Topps baseball cards, you have an image 
of broken gum here on the back, which if you remember those cards, most of the gum always came so hard it was broken. So I decided just to keep these cards here. You know, I didn't really see a need to pull them out. I just kind of like them all being in the same place. Now I'm not for sure if there's anything on the front cover, I guess. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I never looked at this before. It is the gum that is still fresh. And then here's the gum that is broken. So what a cool cover. Even if you take off the, the book shield here, it still has a pretty neat cover. So you can see how thick this book is. I do, normally I like to take off, you know, the book covers because I don't like them, the protective covers, but for this one, it just, it is totally part of the nostalgia of Topps baseball cards. It's that same material, so I definitely wanted to keep it. So there we have it, the Garbage Pell Kids by Topps with the introduction by Art Spiegelman, who's an awesome artist, afterward by John Pound, um, and a bonus sticker garbage pill kids so if you're interested in buying this i ordered mine off of amazon and i would i would recommend it it's a fun book just to have to have in your bookshelf or to throw on a coffee table so thanks for hanging out with us today in trips art class we'll catch you later